bleeding wasn't a ruptured eardrum, ear infection, or bleeding disorder. Her heart rate's climbing, blood pressure's dropping. She's on the verge of a multi-system failure. The head CT was clean. It means it's not a neurological problem. Basically, we have nothing. The cancer is still on the table. Spinal fluid was negative for lymphoma. What other... Leukemia. We need to do a bone marrow biopsy. None of the blood tests suggest leukemia. Cancer doesn't explain the collapsed lung. Unless a small clot led to a pulmonary infarct. It's a long shot. Autoimmune is way more likely. Autoimmune diseases respond to steroids, which we've and given her. And she got her. better for a while. We stopped the treatment too because soon. Because she crashed. All we're doing is bouncing back and forth between cancer and autoimmune. We're going in circles. Give me half an hour. Can I have a french fry? It's your own. You took the last ones. What's wrong with you? I got spinal muscular atrophy. I mean, this is not contagious. Nice bear. It's a dog. House. It's not stills. Steroids helped until the patient started bleeding from the ears and mouth. It's a bear. His name is Bill. He's a dog. You win. You can have Vicodin. Words have set meanings for a reason. If you see an animal like Bill and you try to play fetch, Bill's gonna eat you. Because Bill's a bear. Are you on something? You got your hands on pain meds. Bill has fur, four legs, and a collar. He's a dog. It's between cancer and autoimmune. See, that's what we call a faulty syllogism. Just because you call Bill a dog doesn't mean that he is. Dog. We gotta x-ray our patient's leg. Her leg looks fine. Weird, huh? Why aren't you detoxing? Willpower. Normal is not normal, if you're not normal. Did you just take a pill? No. So how does a dwarf have completely normal growth plates? It's impossible. We must be missing something. How many pills have you taken? Not nearly as many as I'm gonna take. I've forgotten how delicious they were. I didn't give them to him. But can we forget my vices, get back to my virtues? We were missing the fact that just because we called her a dwarf doesn't mean she is a dwarf. Everyone assumed she was because of her mother. There's no test for CHH dwarfism, so she lost an identity, but we gained a symptom. If she doesn't have skeletal dwarfism, then her short stature must be caused by growth hormone deficiency. And something's wrong with her pituitary gland, and based on her size, it's been wrong for a while. So what connects a long-term pituitary issue with problems in the lungs, liver, and pancreas? Oh, you guys and your bickering. Cancer versus autoimmune. Obviously, you think it's something else. Nope, I think it's both. Langerhans cell histiocytosis, also known as, you got your cancer in my autoimmune disease. The immune component responded to the stills treatment led to the short-term improvement. The cancer portion didn't. We dismissed this earlier because there were no neurological symptoms. Yeah, it's not your fault. The only neurological symptom was her height. Who could have noticed? This is your pituitary gland. This is the granuloma that's been crushing it. You know, pituitary equals no growth hormone equals not that much. She's not a dwarf. Just hormonally challenged. What about my mom? Your mom's the real deal. She's just a tiny little poser. Your recent ear infections caused your body to release a cascade of the same cells that made the granuloma. It attacked your lungs, moved down to your liver, then hitched it right over to your pancreas. We can nuke them with a mild course of chemo and then remove the granuloma. And then what? What will happen to her then? Well, let me see if I can make this clear. This pill represents a pill. And my mouth represents your daughter's mouth. We deposit the pill in the mouth. You may never be tall enough to play in the WNBA. You should be able to post up your mom, no problem. What if I don't take the pills? What if you remove the thing in my head and give me the chemo, but not the pills? Would I still get better? Your body needs growth hormone for lots of things, like to grow. 
I like who I am now. Nobody your age likes who they are now. I do. You like needing help when you want something off a high shelf? Not being able to press an elevator button above the eighth floor, having to smell ass every time you stand in line? You don't need growth hormone. It's just your ticket out of the freak show. you deliver a diagnosis without making her feel that her life isn't worth living? I'm trying to help her. You are trying to make her taller. Not too tall. Just tall enough to wipe her own butt. Are you high? Higher than you. If my daughter doesn't want to choose the easy path, I won't force her to. Then you're a lousy mom. You want your daughter to be a freak. We're not freaks. You want her to overcome adversity. Yes. Then why stop at height? Poke a stick in her eye. Imagine how interesting she'll be then. Being little is not the same. You and I have found out that being normal sucks. Because we're freaks. The advantage of being a freak is it makes you stronger. How strong do you really want her to have to be? You told her what you had to tell her. Now you tell her you lied. Even if you didn't. This is who you were supposed to be. You hate normal. It's not that simple. If I grow, I'll fade into the background. I'll be boring. We'll get you a funny hat. <laughs> you could never be boring. You want me to be like everybody else? I want you to have what I can't. 